Waste cracking buddy. What's a waste cracker? Well, you are going to find out specifically on November the 9th. Why November the 9th? Well, I happen to be releasing something one day before the big drop of Fallout 4. You're just gonna have to wait. But meanwhile, these vault dwellers need a little bit of assistance or they need overseeing because after all we're playing the overseer in this simulator. Uh, I have about 11 more dwellers than I did when we left off in the last episode and I mentioned before I kind of do that to move the vault along. I don't want to pick up right where I left off. So we essentially uh, at the end we built a uh, med bay which is right here. Actually, let me use the pointer so I can click on my smartphone or I can use this pointer. Pretty cool, right? Yes, it is. Or uh, then we also build a science lab and I extended those out. I extended the med bay out to three tiles because I got five people working in there. Uh, extended the science bay out a little bit, but not a whole lot. Um, it's fairly important to have um, stim packs. You need to kind of produce stim packs fairly early on in the game. Um, it's not a big deal if your vault dwellers die as long as you have enough money to revive them. Now there is a new survival mode that dropped since the last episode uh, and the deal with that is uh, med packs and uh, or I mean stim packs that you make at the med bay those are absolutely critical so probably the most important room you can build early on in the game is the med bay, but it's not quite so much uh, the case in the regular mode which we're playing now. Uh, here, take a look at this. Aw, isn't that cute? There's a new uh, update, in fact, up, oh, and of course, naturally, I'm trying to narrate, and then we have a mole rat attack. Well, you get to see a mole rat attack, please, this one. Uh, I also have some new weapons, too. And I was going to show those to you, but we killed the mole rats ahead of time anyway. So we have a hardened combat shotgun. She's got a shotgun, but you ain't got none. And then there's a rusty sniper rifle. Hey, uh, who would like that? I know someone who would like that rusty rifle. So, oh, let's see. Somebody just had uh, a good time down here. Now it's time for them to go somewhere else. Um, let me show you the new rooms that we unlocked since the end of the last episode. Well, we didn't unlock this, but with the last update, we unlocked the Halloween theme. Whoops, and I accidentally clicked. I keep clicking on different, the wrong people. Yeah, there we go. Isn't that Halloween theme cute? Yeah, don't worry. As you see, you're not the only one who keeps accidentally clicking on dwellers and dragging them to undesired locations. I do that all the time. There's a broom. There's also a broom that kind of sweeps the diner by itself so you don't have to hire a janitor. <laughs> Never quite. You don't really have to hire a janitor to get... Well, one of the dwellers usually is sweeping the floor in the diner. That's what's going on. Now, there's also a new mysterious stranger. Mysterious stranger appears randomly in the vault, and you have to click on him, and you'll get a big uh, money drop. Now, that's not how I raised all this money, of course, but, you know, uh, I raised the money just by not spending it. So you don't spend money unless you need to. Um, and remember, don't buy lunch boxes with your real money unless you need to. Now, this is going to be the first tip of this episode. Don't buy any lunch boxes with real money. Earn them naturally through completing objectives. If you notice, I have five lunch boxes. We're going to open them up in a moment. I got all those lunch boxes since the last episode just by completing objectives. So. Uh, deliver nine baby dwellers. Ooh, that's going to be hard. Uh, I don't have time to do that right now, so let's uh, get another one. Come on, lunchbox. Nope. Raise the intelligence of five dwellers. Well, now this is exciting. We're going to have to do that this episode. 
let's grab our resources. Um, why don't we start with opening the lunch boxes and then we're going to try to build uh, our first skill rooms or our training rooms uh, because we've unlocked some of those now. I have unlocked the radio studio. That's not a training room, that's a real radio studio. It's going to attract dwellers. We'll do that in a minute. I've unlocked the weight room for strength, athletics for agility, armory for perception. Oh, the classroom for intelligence. There's, there's a classroom right there. We're going to teach people how to read. And the fitness room, endurance. And the lounge for charisma. Okay, let's open them up. Okay, first lunchbox is... Now remember, uh, often you'll get one rare card and possibly even one legendary card. So let's, I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. Okay, good, rusty assault. Gotta look at those rusty armaments. Everything in the arsenal's gonna be rusty by the time we're done with the game. Okay, more, more, more outfits, that's nice. Come on, legendary. Come on, I've already got an enhanced combat shot. Everyone's gonna be walking around with shot. Yes. Velasa, what? Garrett, what? Uh, I want a shot shoots in the Yes, shot shoots in the oh, oh, no shot shoots in the <laughs> What is that? In English, it's a uh, sniper rifle. Shot shoots in I'm not kidding, that's the real name of a sniper rifle in German. How did I, how did I know that? Uh, well, I kicked on, uh, I flipped on German while I was playing the Evil Within, and that's how I learned it. A skeleton costume. Oh my god, that's so creepy. By the way, that's what the Halloween update. People are walking around with skeleton costumes in every vault now. It's kind of silly. Oh, come on. How many of those do I need? And? I didn't get a single legendary card. You cheapskates. Yeah, that's another reason not to buy lunch boxes with real money. There's no guarantee that you're going to get a legendary drop. You only get a rare drop. You know, I had one rare card in each of those, and it was just caps. It wasn't anything special. I want, I wanted Piper. Like, where the hell's Piper when I need her? That's the new uh, legendary dweller that could appear in the cards. Well, we'll just keep working on the objectives. So remember what I've said in the previous three episodes. Always work toward your objectives. Ooh, collect 13 stim packs. Well, there is an objective we can complete right now. Uh, here's a stim pack generator. Two minutes, 49 seconds. Oh, let's rush him. Hurry up. We ain't got all day. I ain't getting any younger up here. What the hell? Why are you failing? Get that fire out. Okay, okay, now we're gonna do it right over again. I dare you to fail again. I'll throw this whole phone right out the window. Okay, you better. Okay, yeah, see, sometimes you just have to be assertive as an overseer, and you accomplish things. Now, the next one is kill four ratty roaches without a weapon. Okay, so we'll make sure that we disarm somebody when we have a rad roach infestation. But we have to do, well, we have to kill four rad roaches, so it's probably going to be two infestations. Now, let's look at this. Raise the intelligence of five dwellers. Well, it's time to build our first training room. We are going to build it here. Notice what I did here. It looks kind of strange, but I did that for a reason. I like uh, building two elevator banks. I think I showed you the last time. Yeah, I started building that elevator bank in the last video. Um, this particular water plant will build out to here, right to here, and then, I'll, oh, let's put the, actually, let's put the training room right here. We have to raise the intelligence of five dwellers. We're only going to build a two-tile uh, classroom. Yeah, because otherwise that's too much. We don't need that many intelligent people running around the vault. The more intelligent they get, the more rebellious they get. Let's not make them too smart. Who am I starting to sound like? Yep, that's right. Pretty much everyone... <laughs> yeah, never mind. Let's not make this vault a political vault. Ooh, that would be an exciting side quest. A vault where that's filled by half uh, Democrats and half Republicans. And then by the end of the year, there won't be anyone left. They'd all kill each other. Okay, so now we have uh, four people to populate this classroom with. Now, by the way, look at my caps. I have a lot of caps. Why don't we upgrade the classroom? If we upgrade this classroom, it increases intelligence faster. Increase intelligence. Thank you. There we go. See, now there's more books. Oh, there's a computer terminal with uh, the little Vault Boy health stats. See, the limbs stats. What's this say? I can't read it. It says 
Well, I can't read it. Then this one says, your government needs you. Otherwise, I can't read it. You know, there's just like random posters all over the school. Okay, so now these guys are sitting in here doing nothing. Oh, look, she's hiding behind the forklift. What are you doing back there? This is highly irregular. There's nothing, to, there's nothing to do back there. Okay, so let's increase her intelligence. And then, let's see. She could probably use some intelligence. What about this guy? Yep, he can use it too. Well, they weren't doing anything anyway. Good, we got some more Rataways. So, we're building up Rataways, by the way. And let's see who else is not doing anything. Well, they're not doing anything at the moment. They're just, she's just being pregnant, and then the guy's just standing there with pajamas. Uh, we're going to do something with them in a moment. Just hang on. I'm going to check and see if anyone else is not doing anything. You do that by clicking your vault, and then sort by job if so, anyone is not doing anything they come up right at the top so there's the only it's poopa scoop shardy butt and gerald peters they're not doing anything we'll just wait yes i renamed her already i'll show you how to rename people in just a moment uh oh there hmm okay so we have one more person to add to the class room whoops what is she doing? Oh, she decided to start teaching the class. I didn't tell her to be the teacher. That's kind of funny. They just fill in slots as you add them. That's how they work, right? And you always know which slot is is occupied and which one isn't. You see, like, there's one additional slot behind the counter here. The lady who serves the, uh, the witch's brew, she's not there yet. So we'll have to add more vault dwellers. We do that by getting people pregnant, which I did down here. See, she's impregnated. Anyone else impregnated? Nope, just her. We'll have to impregnate. Oh, there. Now, she's not doing anything besides just standing around the vault door, and she's pretty dumb, so let's teach her something. There. Now, don't disrupt the class. Stop wandering the halls, disrupting the class, and making revelations about the next great plague. I'll give the first person five dollars if you tell me which, uh, <laughs> which TV show that's from. <laughs> I simply can't have students wandering the halls. You'll get it. If you're old, if you're as old as I am, you'll definitely get it. Okay, so that's uh, our our trainees in the classroom. Now let's build that radio uh, radio station. Where is it? It's a radio studio right there. See, attracts new dwellers from the wasteland. Well, isn't that nice? Let's attract somebody. Uh, we're going to build it right here. Uh, this is a good place to build it, as any, right? No, no, no. I think we only need one tile right now. Don't worry, it'll light up in a moment. Uh, by the way, let's take a look at our resources really quick. Oh, we're doing just fine and dandy. Man, compared to the survival mode, this isn't even a challenge. We'll have to... Yeah, but this, this whole strategy guide regards the normal mode, not survival mode. Unless you clearly know what you're doing, and unless you've built a vault all the way to 200 dwellers, don't try survival mode. I can't let you try survival mode. I'll come to your house and I'll turn survival mode off and delete your vault if you do it before you finish a 200 person vault. I was watching you. Okay, now we got a radio station. Oh, look at this. Charisma happens to be the attribute you need to do good in the radio station. Oh, look at this. He happens to be wearing pajamas, which increases his charisma. So, And I think she's wearing pajamas too. Get that gun out of your hand. A pregnant lady with a gun. Okay, there. Get in there! Oh, we got a red witch in the station. Oh, that means, uh, hang on a minute. We're gonna let it spread. Let's let the infestation spread. Sometimes you just gotta let it happen. Get in there. There we go. Good. We're gonna kill rad roaches without a weapon. If I can disarm these guys fast enough. I don't think I can get their guns out of their hands fast enough. 
Stop killing him. Do not kill. No. No. She won't st stop moving. Yeah. Too bad you can't actually click on anyone or I could disarm her. Who's still firing? This is starting to feel like aliens. We need to collect everyone's weapons. Okay, so some people are going to die in a minute. Wait, it doesn't matter. Just let them die. Look at my caps. It's better. See, now listen. Now watch this. You're going to see people start crawling apart on themselves. Just wait a minute. Just watch. There we go. One person died. Now, why would I do something like that? Well, I'll tell you why in a minute. Everything that happens in Vault 94 happens for a reason. It's because I would rather use all of my money to revive these people than use precious stim packs to keep them alive. Because you can revive someone, and it doesn't cost a whole lot of money, if you have this kind of money up here, 7,000 caps, well, go ahead and let them croak, and then just resurrect them after the battle's over. Okay, let's see if we got any uh, objectives out of that. Not a single one. Because they started firing, so you can't even fire a single round for this to count. Okay. Well, at least we collected all of their guns, right? I think we're going to have to collect everyone's guns in the entire vault so that doesn't happen again. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. 45 seconds for more stim packs. Let's see how many stim packs we got. We got 35 stim packs. Well, I could have used them. Uh, the reason we have so many stim packs is because uh, this is in pretty good shape, actually. Um, this. Three tile med bay stores 35 pristines. Now let's uh, zoom in on the class room and take a look at how long it will take to train each of these. Oh, she'll be trained to her next intelligence level in one hour six minutes. She's currently at level two. In one hour six minutes, she'll increase to level three. We have to collect her training, but she'll be ready in one hour six minutes. Now she's going to be available much faster. Now the reason is, hey, the reason is she's only level one. So the higher your level of a particular attribute, the longer it takes to train to the next level. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And then of course, if we if we were to add uh, like upgrade this room by clicking this and clicking upgrade. Look, that's really expensive. Let's not do that right now. Um, then they would train even faster. It's amazing. Okay. Oh, we got... Oops, and I clicked on the rock. Yeah, if you accidentally start dragging somebody, drag them right into the rock. And then that will cancel it out. Anyone seen the mysterious stranger? I think we did see the mysterious stranger in here a little bit earlier. Yeah, we did. Now let's take let's zoom in on the radio studio. Well, isn't that cute? She's talking. If there's someone out there, they'll sure be listening to me. Now, did you notice how confident he was when he said that? Well, it's because he has a high charisma, so that's why. Now let's take a look at her charisma. Yeah, she's pretty high too. I mean, she's not, you know what I mean. Pregnant ladies aren't supposed to get high. Um, let's take a look through our wardrobe and see if there's anything better she could be wearing that's greater than charisma plus three. Nope, it's just that. Oh, but there's other things that other people can wear. Like up here, for example. Who's not wearing something? Hey, you're missing somebody. What the hell? Uh, strength plus two, strength plus two. I'm looking for a strength plus three. So do you see what I'm doing? Uh, I'm shuffling through my wardrobe to see if anyone could be wearing something that they're not. So here's the next tip. Constantly shuffle through your wardrobe and equip your dwellers with the best outfits. And when I say the best outfits, that means per the job that they're doing. For instance, uh, she's she has a perception three, and then she's got this wasteland medic on that adds plus two. But let's see if there's anything that's even better than that. Well, no, there isn't actually. 
there isn't. But then let's take a look at the, uh, man, everybody's like got good, they're already wearing the right stuff. Oh, he's not wearing the right thing at all. He's in the power room and he's wearing a comedian outfit. What the hell? A clown. Let's add a uh, strength plus two. So we need a outfit with strength plus two. Oh, let's give him the Skellington costume. There you go. Yo, you look like a. You look like a. Uh, what does he look like? He looks like a. Uh, one of those kids' silly costumes from E.T. Like, E.T. was the only one who actually had a good costume because he looked like a real E.T. They're wearing the right stuff, see? They're wearing a handyman jumpsuit. I don't know why they call it a handyman when they're both women. Okay. Um, was there anything else that we could add to any of these people? No? See, if you notice, they're all wearing the right stuff now. It's because I uh, had people go into the wasteland. Um, now remember, we're going to send, regularly we're going to send people into the wasteland to retrieve even better gear than what we already have. Now look at this guy, he's coming back with some decent stuff. Uh, yeah. He's, well, he's got an amplified laser pistol in his hand. He didn't go out with that, but he's, he's got it in his hand now. They always wear and they always equip the best gear that they find. If they find something that's superior to what they're holding or wearing, then they'll equip that instead. Isn't that amazing? And then, uh, oh, there's a hardened lever action rifle. And then here's a Skellington costume. Man, he found a lot of stuff. He's been busy. And that's Eulogy Jones. That's one of the legendary characters. He's wearing a laser rifle. Get back here. We're going to need him pretty soon. Eventually, the endurance comes into play uh, because the Nuka Cola bottler, one day, whoops, look what I did. One day, the Nuka Cola bottler, when we're finally, uh, when it's finally available, will require endurance. Okay, good. Uh, let's work on our objectives a little bit more than we're actually going to quit because uh, that's what I really wanted to cover this time. I wanted to cover um, how to build a radio studio and then how to attract dwellers to your vault. There are now three ways to increase the number of dwellers into your vault. One way is the radio studio. Another way is uh, completing objectives and gaining legendary characters in your lunchy boxes and then the third way is oh shit i forgot what the third way is oh yeah getting people pregnant like her i was looking right at her that's the third way so uh the three ways again are um, radio signals impregnation or lunchy boxes legendary lunchy boxes uh, there's actually a fourth way, but that's only at the beginning of the game. You, you get them automatically. They just magically show up at your door, so that doesn't really count. And that, that stopped, by the way. If you notice, no random wastelanders have come knocking on the vault door. Well, it's because that's, that's long gone. Uh, there's the Rad Roach infestation again in the same place. Okay, now everyone, everyone should be unarmed, and now we'll get credit for that objective. See, everyone is disarmed. Come on, punch him. Okay, now we're going to add stim packs because I don't want to go through that. I don't want to drag this out. Come on. Sometimes you have to move your camera around. Stop fighting me. Nope, nope, I, I, didn't, I didn't click on her in time. And now she's dead. Rest in peace. Well, I can revive her now, if I wanted to. Well, I'm trying to click on it. Yeah, there she goes. Come on, punch. Good. Yeah, there goes the objective. See? Always be mindful of the objectives and work toward them. We have so many med packs. It's... Oh, die. Get right back up. Get right back up and fight. Stop dying. 
If you die one more time, I'm not going to revive you. There. And... Punch him. Punches and ten are right off of him. How hard can it be to punch Radroaches? I let him go. Come on, there's... You can do it. See, I'm just pumping a bowl of stim packs, and one day they'll finally get this last rad wrench. There they go. Well, we only got credit for three of them, but we're much closer to that objective. Now, when we complete that objective, it's not going to give us a lunchbox yet, but at least it clears it out for the next one, which might be a lunchbox. We've got seven fires to go before we're done with this, and pretty soon we will have raised, raised the intelligence of five dwellers. Now, we only have four dwellers in the classroom, but remember it said five dwellers. What you have to do is swap one of these out with another dweller when she's done. So, actually, she's going to be done in just a little while, remember? It said only 20 minutes. Yeah, see, 11 minutes. We're going to end the video now, but uh, once she's done, I'm going to take her and put her down here instead. Yeah, see, one intelligence, and then she'll be ready in no time, and that will complete this objective. So remember, like I say, every episode, work toward your objectives all the time. Don't just add people to your vault, and don't just keep growing the vault for no reason, for the sake of growth. Growth for the sake of growth is the definition of cancer. So don't be a cancer. <laughs> be intelligent. Alright, well that's all we have this time. Uh, there weren't that many tips, but um, I really want to build the vault out a little bit more so I can really get into the nitty-gritty of uh, training and show you all of the nuances and the peculiarities of training people. Um, and we'll do that next time. In fact, um, I'll end by adding another training room. Uh, first of all, let's add another level to our BART. And now I'm going to add, what shall we add? Let's add a weight room. I love the gym because I love muscles. And what about an athletics room? Or what about the armory? Let's add one more. Let's just add one more weight room. Actually, how much was it? 750. No, that's not necessary right now. Let's build one below. The reason I keep building downward is so um, we don't block the rooms. You know, I want to eventually build this weight room into three tiles. See? So I'm going to destroy this rock, and now I shall build the athletics room. Yeah, actually, let's... Uh, athletics room. Which actually looks a lot like the weight room. Yeah, see? It's just a little different. Now there's mats on the floor for yoga... for yoga... yoga heads. Okay, that's all for this time. We'll populate these uh, training rooms with dwellers, and we'll start training them up and leveling up their attributes. Now that's the trick, is that you can conceivably get 200 dwellers all the way up to level 10 and all of their special attributes, which is a little silly because that's not necessary, uh, unless you're playing survival mode. You know, once you've reached uh, 200 dwellers and you're able to maintain your resources effectively and ward off any attacks, then that means that you've won the game. Then it's time to start survival mode and try that. Okay, if you like this one, you can subscribe to my channel, and you'll get all these Fallout Shelter Strategy Guide episodes in your inbox. There's ten total. This is number four. I also do Skyrim. Unfortunately, I'm trying to repair my Fallout 3 installation, but it's currently broken, so none of those right now. On November the 10th, I start my epic walkthrough of Fallout 4. We'll see you next time in Vault. Ninety-four. Oh, yeah.